All right, so this is the workstation. And as most of you know, we've been having some temperature issues with this thing ever since putting in that uh, 3090 mining rig or um, card in here. So what we're gonna be doing today, I got six 3000 RPM, 140 millimeter Noctua fans here. And then what we're gonna be testing is manufacturer differences, different fan speed uh, temperature differences, and noise differences or i should say like rpm to noise ratio but first this video is sponsored by your mom is your mom lonely well look no further we have a whole discord full of single thirsty boys that would just be happy to satisfy her all you gotta do is take her credit card and donate me money <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Donate me money and I will set her up with one of these gorgeous boys. Is she looking for a virgin? Well, we got that too. Just go in here, look for a kingpin picks, and I'm sure we can find her a nice virgin. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. And today, does fan speed matter? Okay, so currently as it stands, we have a 420 millimeter up top. We have a 280 in the front and a 140 in the bottom, hence six fans, right? Now, these radiators are 60 millimeters thick. And I believe that is the crux of the problem here. Uh, the fans that are on there right now are just 1,000 RPM Silverstone fans. Just like stock ones that came with my wife's case. So I believe they just cannot push enough air through these thick-ass radiators to actually get any cooling performance out of it. So check this out here. We've been mining for about five hours. And let's launch hardware info here quickly. I'm just recording this on my phone. We're just doing a quick and dirty video here. So we're just gonna take a quick before measurement here. So we got, also keep in mind, we got a BPC in there too, right on top of the 3090. Where's my uh, temperature here? Here we go, okay. Memory junction, 82. So you can already tell, if you remember back in my other videos, this was 70 Celsius in my gaming rig. And then my workstation, it's 82. So we have 12 degrees of temperature that's that's how much hotter the water is in my workstation than it is my gaming rig right so let's write down 82 for junction temperature and 50.5 for the gpu temperature okay i know many of you were waiting for the parallel versus serial mp5 works comparison video I decided not to do that until I got this radiator fan situation sorted out because what's the point of trying different methods of cooling if the temperature of the water itself is so hot that this can't actually cool it down to the same degree as the other computer, right? So that's why that video kind of got delayed a little bit, but that will be next once we figure this out. Don't worry. Mmm, these fans look nice, man. The older I get, the... The more I'm into neutral colors and less RGB, I must say. All right, check it out, we're done. Look how nice those fans look though, I must say. I kinda wanna do a full brown and black build now. Man, all right. Now, let's go see if this solves my temperature problem and at what RPM. Okay, so I've got all the fans running at a thousand rpm right now they're all in the same fan hub and i set i set them to a thousand rpm in the bios here so they're all running at a thousand now even though i've only been mining for 25 minutes i ran a cpu stress test on top of the miner for 20 minutes just to but i was putting like 700 watts of heat into the loop but it looks like the temperatures are the exact same as the other ones. This, this was the stock one, actually. It was the Fractal uh, 1000 RPM. So 
the Noctuas at 1,000 RPM and the Fractals at 1,000 RPM yielded the exact same numbers, it looks like. Come to think of it, actually, these fans look almost the same as the Noctuas too, so it actually makes sense that they would perform the same. All right, so 1,500 RPM, uh, 25 minutes later, and we got a four degree drop across the board. So I'm probably gonna leave it here because if you guys listen, it's not really any louder than 1000 RPM, not to me anyway. So this is probably gonna be my daily driver settings, but let's go to 2000 RPM and see what happens. So if I had thinner radiators, probably be better, but uh, yeah, let's go to 2000 just for kicks and see what happens. All right, so 2000 RPM here, uh, 22 minutes of mining and a two degree drop. That's it. So for a shit ton more noise too, you can probably hear that. So there's probably a sweet spot in between 1500 RPM and 2000 RPM. So you would be fine with 1500 RPM fans with a 60 millimeter radiator thickness. That would like 1500, 1500 RPM is enough to saturate a 60 mil radiator. So anyway, just for kicks, let's crank this bitch to 3000. All right, I'm only nine minutes in, but mother of God, it, 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 it hasn't made a difference at all. So the, the temperature is the exact, maybe one degree. So one degree difference. Yeah. So and anything past like 1700 RPM is a waste of time. All right. So long story short, from 1000 to 1500 RPM, big difference. Anything beyond 1500 is a waste of time. So what I'm going to end up doing here. Actually, I'm going to take my 3090 and put it back in my gaming rig here. Um, the temperatures are just much better for BPC testing. So I'm going to put the 3090 back in here. Then I'm going to do the uh, parallel versus serial BPC testing. Because this, this computer here will be able to tell the temperature differences much better. But in the meantime, that's pretty much it. But now that I actually have my temperatures under control, stay tuned for some 1090 XE content. Anyway, guys, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you found value in this. And, uh, well, I hope you found value in this, and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later. It's an actual catwalk. <laughs>